Hello everyone. I decided to make this video to show you how to um, change the 126 switches uh, from the um, uh, 1.8 scale Delarium model to a wireless board so you can control it with a remote control um, and to do it in a very easy and very inexpensive way. First of all, this, um, this is a remote control board uh, that comes with a remote and it's about uh, 8 euro when you buy it, including shipping. So this is like really a bargain. And the way to um, attach it to the um, uh, standard um, board that comes uh, with the model uh, is very easy. And I will explain it right now. So, um, so that means that uh, in the end you can keep your um, uh, standard uh, Eagle Moss board if you want to. You don't have to make any modifications to that. Uh, you can put an accurate TFC in place as you can see here and um, you will not need uh, the switches anymore, the one to six switches, which you will replace by a remote control. And um, you won't also have to physically push the buttons, but you will use the remote from, um, from a distance. So. Um, first of all, what you have to do is to modify the uh, FR uh, colored cable. There's one wire that you need to remove uh, and to do that you can do that very easy by taking a knife, a sharp knife and uh, these are DuPont connectors. So you just uh, have to uh, pull up this clip a little bit uh, up and then to pull the cable towards to you when you have that clip. Um, in an upwards position, it's uh, uh, like this. Then you have it out and the green wire you won't use anymore. So uh, on the other, this is the cable that goes into the uh, Eagle Moss board. I will show it to you uh, in a minute. Then on the other side, you had those um, uh, switches, which I just, uh, I just cut off. Uh, and then I, uh, using a crimp, a crimp tool, I've uh, put connectors on each wire and then I've inserted it into this uh, six um, wires DuPont connector. So, after you've done this, the only thing you um, need uh, is to create a splitter, a power splitter, and I will explain how that works and why you make it. The reason you make it is that you will need to power uh, two things. You will need to power the wireless board that we have here and you also need to power the uh, standard EM board. So this is uh, basically a Y splitter as you can see it. So uh, on one side there goes the power from the, from the battery box and then it splits to uh, the two boards. The, uh, EM board and the wireless board. So I have uh, prepared my cable here. I did it with the same method using um, two wire DuPont connectors as uh, they also use on the in the um, um, DeLorean build. So now I will connect the wires to it. So we'll have the FR cable that goes the exact same way as it should go only that the green wire is removed. Then we have the wireless board. And when you connect this, um, remember to, to have the first pin on the left to keep that one uh, empty. So you attach it from the second. Let me put it in place. Okay, so this is how you attach the uh, FR cable to it. Then we have the splitter. So one goes into the um the plus and min on the standard em board i've color coded the wire so the red one is the plus and the black one is the uh the other way around so red is on the um, bottom side and the black one is on the top side with the plus and min it shows here uh very, very clear so now that i've um let's see so first thing is to turn this button on, battery box is on. You will see that the lights in the, uh, on the dashboard are already started to lit. 
So now I have the remote. Let's see. I believe this is the uh, number two is for the speedometer. Yes, it uh, speedometer just went went on. It's not. Yeah, there it's visible, and then we can turn it off again. Then we have the time circuits, which uh, are <clears throat> controlled by number four, which just went on. It's the same with the flux capacitor. I will show it to you in a minute. And it all works. Okay, so now I've uh, also attached the flux capacitor, which goes on when you press uh, button four on the um, uh, switches. It's actually exactly the same. Uh, the, the number of the number of buttons on the remote they correspond to the uh, the number of the uh, switches. Uh, so now when I press four. It all starts to work. The flux capacitor is fluxing the time circuits display is on. And as you can see, it all works. Now wirelessly with a very simple and easy to do modification. Uh, this was firstly done by Pete Holtcroft. I would like to uh, thank uh, Pete uh, Holtcroft for um, finding out this uh, method, which is, uh, I think, really great and really simple and easy to do for people that uh, you wanted to remove those um, uh, switches and to go wirelessly uh, in an inexpensive way. So um, I hope this video helps you and um, until next time. Bye.